Hi my love, welcome to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life Apothecary. Thank you so much for tuning in. I currently am working on the Zodiac signs, um, all of their readings for the month of April 2020. And I have been jumping through the signs as I moved and every single one of the signs so far has the same message that keeps coming through. And it's interesting because collectively as, as a whole, we're all in the same type of energy space at the moment where it feels as though the world as we know it has been put on hold, has put on halt, and we're pretty much in quarantine, we're you know in self-isolation. This message that I received though was so opposite of that and it kind of blows my mind, but I was also focusing and asking about April. So I'm interested in hearing how this message applies and why this is coming through. I haven't seen it show up in my life. However, it showed up in the Virgo reading and I wanted to share it with you guys. I do have some cards laid out, but the first thing that I wanna say that was coming through that I felt so strongly, every single one of the zodiac signs halfway through so far, and I feel like the rest of them are probably gonna get the same message. However, I don't wanna speak it into existence if that's not so. But the message that kept coming through was this space of, well, it sounds really bad, but almost forgiveness. I, I'm having an issue with the word forgiveness Lately, not because I have a problem with forgiveness, but I feel like so many of us are kind of tossing that word around and we don't really, we're not really embracing the idea of forgiveness. There still seems to be this space of um, resentment. And I don't think that it's so much what it is that we put on other people, but what it is that we put on ourselves and how we punish ourselves for not knowing, for not having done better and for not, I don't know, being perfect people and getting it right the first time. But more than that, there's a space of an apology and an apology that needs to be heard, an apology that needs to be said, something that you have to get, something that you need to say to someone and also what you need to hear in order to feel like you can move forward. I don't know why that's coming through, but it, came, it really became clear when I was working on the Leos, on the Leo sign um, for the month of April, where their Leo rules the heart and the energy of the heart and that reading was specifically for leos but it just goes to show that we literally i believe that we're all under the same influence we're all under the same planets we're all under the same stars we're all being influenced by the same energy and we all need each other and when i get to leo and i see this space of the heart being blocked and it almost feels as though they have been punished you have to think, you guys, astrology, the astrology chart shows the energy of what it is that we're working with right now. And this energy expresses itself. And Leo is only the expression of what has been going on with energy. Leo is only reflecting the energy that has been going on and expressing that energy. Like, does that make sense? I feel like I'm getting weird again. But if all of the signs serve their purpose and every single one of us has a sun sign, we all play our part in this collective consciousness. And when we're all under the same umbrella energy, it leads into us differently and it impacts us differently. When I was sitting with Leo's energy, that, that was the final time when I was like, okay, now I need to come on here and talk to you guys. Now I need to come on here and share this message that impacts all of us. Leo's energy's heart was, was broken and blocked, but it also represented the source, it also represented the source, the heart source of all of us collectively, that there's this blockage in the heart, there's this blockage in our ability to play, there's this blockage in us being able to create, to be free, to express ourselves. And I feel that this is where this revolution is happening right now. Um, I, I feel as though spirit right now has all of us really reevaluating how we love, how we express that love, how we love ourselves, as I'm saying all of what it is that I'm saying so far, I'm only five minutes into this video, the word is, I feel punished. I feel as though spirit or God, the divine, is seeing people walking around in their lives being feeling like they're being punished or penalized for things that they should not be internalizing and saying that I did this, I deserve this. That's the main message that I want you to take right now that I feel spirit is, is the higher spirit, the divine, is wanting to give to every single one of us now. 
is that you didn't do you didn't do anything to deserve punishment. You didn't just do anything to deserve where we're at right now or where you're at right now in your life or collectively. This is kind of mind blowing to me because this goes in your personal life and it also goes in our global our global life. From everything from how we punit how we took care of our planet, how we took care of ourselves. Spirit is so oh there it is, forgiving. Now it makes sense to me right now. Yo, it's like this is literally gonna make me cry because I just had an epiphany moment just now. Um but it's it's so forgiving. It's like a grace period, it's mercy. Spirit, God the Divine has so much mercy and says that I gave this to you. I gave you this world. I created this world for you to experience it. I gave you these experiences so that you can experience them. I did not expect perfection from you. The word is perform. I, I knew how you would react. I did not want you to perform. I wanted you to be authentic. When you are authentic, you will see your highs and your lows. I saw, I don't know who's, um, who's, um, which one of the zodiac signs received this message, but I saw these pockets, these like stink pockets. And basically it's like, if you go through the swamp or if you go through um, a water that's been stagnant and muddy, there's these pockets that will build and they, they, they'll literally be, they will literally be bubbles. And when you pass by them, they burst and they stink. And you're just like, oh my God. And we have become so accustomed, wow, we have become so accustomed to being, to performing, to being this perfect version of ourselves, of pretending like we're higher evolved, that we don't need people, we don't need this, we don't need that. And it's it's in these moments right now where spirit says, I, did ne I never wanted you to perform. I wanted you to be authentic. I wanted you to be you, and that includes flaws and all. I gave this to you something as big as the world. I gave you the planet and you trashed it. I gave you this relationship and they trashed it or you trashed it or you didn't do the right thing or whatever the case is. And still, I did not, that was how it was supposed to be. I. It was already wired for me to forgive you. It was already, your forgiveness was already wired. It was already factored in. It, it was already a part of the equation. And what I wanted you to see is that even the stinky parts that were destroyed that were crumbling, that were taken apart, that were dismantled, that were crushed, that was all a part of the plan. So that I could forgive, so that you could forgive, and so that you could learn from it, you can grow from it, and you could do better from it. Without that forgiveness, without that crushing weight, that blow, that loss, that pollution, pollution in this world, pollution in your life, pollution in your heart, pollution of your potential, Without all of that, you wouldn't have been able to even remotely accept the fact that you are worthy and so fully equipped. Like you have full permission to be imperfect, an imperfect person and still be loved regardless. So when you see these pockets, these stink pockets of your life and these stink pockets going on in our government or wherever, because as above, so below. What happens above, uh, above in the planets, what's happening in the stars, what's happening in the cosmos impacts us here on Earth and vice versa. We are always connected. Every single one of us is connected. This is a message that I received years ago, like five years ago. I'm not kidding. I remember the time, the day, the place, but not specifically the time, but I'm sure I could pull it up because I have a video on here on my YouTube channel when I, pull, I put it up. But um, it was one of my very first videos. This was years ago. It had to have been four or five years ago. I remember seeing these these fireworks going off around the globe and each one of them was just getting closer and closer to this larger finale it reminded me of the fourth of july and it was just this new dawn it was this new era this new life that is that we're walking in 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 towards and we're in the middle of it right now we're in the midst of it people are calling this an apocalypse and people are saying that this is the end times no it's the end of this old normal and the break of the new the dawning of a new a new normal and with that is forgiveness. This is why I've been having such a hard time with us throwing around the word forgiveness because spirit doesn't throw words around. Spirit, the divine, does not throw words around. Every word has an energy and every word has power. We use power to in prayer. 
to heal ourselves or to curse others and or to curse ourselves. We use words to speak life into each other or to speak death into them. We speak words to manifest and to set intention or to cripple ourselves and to crumble under the weight of our own expectations or the things that is that we that that we're suffering in or that we're struggling with. Spirit does not toss around the word forgiveness like people are tossing it around, and it just happens to be coincidence, coincidental divine timing. If you ask me, I believe that the spiritual community is awakening, but we have to be very careful about the words that we use and how we use them. Even if we think that we're using it in a constructive way, it can become crippling if we're not careful. No matter how positive your intention or how good your intention, it can be crippling really quickly. That's why I was having issues with the word forgiveness. Spirit said, literally, it's not even um, you forgiving others, you forgiving yourself. It's that you are forgiven. And when you acknowledge that and when you're able to experience that, embrace the fact that no one wants you to perform. They want you to move and operate from a space of purity of authenticity from your heart space, I feel as though that is why I had to stop at Leo. Because Leo is the heart of the zodiac. Leo's energy represents our all of our ability to create, to love, to, to give love, to receive love, to express love. And when I saw Leo blocked, and I saw, I started the readings last night, and it's today, I took a break from it. I took a break and I came back and I started shuffling and the same message that I saw last night and all of the reading, all of the signs that I did before that were saying the same thing. And then I said, Leo, I have to stop. And Leo is a source, the heart source. Leo is the heart source that reminds us how important it is to connect to the heart so that we can give love and receive love and be non-judgmental. Leo also rules children and play and creativity and creative spark. And all of that energy has been blocked. And I feel as though spirit is saying clearly right now, like my hands, like my energy, the energy that's flowing through my hands right now is insane. Like what it, what it is that I'm feeling because I just feel spirit is like flowing. But um, spirit is saying that I needed you to see me forgive you and forgive this entire planet and say that it was literally already in the works. It was already written. It was already a part of the destiny. It was already going to be factored in. And when you see that I have forgiven you for the worst thing, we'll say to ourselves, we trash this planet. We don't deserve this planet. We don't deserve this globe. We don't deserve nice things because in the past we trashed it. We took advantage of it. We found all the ways to make our world that we live in toxic. Where can we go? If the world was to collapse, if the world was to crumble, if the world was to be toxic and poisonous, where would we go? And still, we have nowhere to go but earth. And still with all of the weight of that, we still trashed it. And Spirit the Divine says, literally, we knew. I knew. You would take even your home environment, the things that, that give you life, vitality, and air, the air that you breathe, the water that you drink. We knew that you would trash it. We knew. It's forgiven. You don't deserve forgiveness, but it's given to you freely. And if you can see that spirit, the divine, the higher self, the universe is that quick to forgive every single one of us immediately in a moment, it becomes that much easier for you to forgive yourself for the things that you did do, the things that you didn't do, the things that you feel like you didn't even factor it in. Sometimes you know better, but you don't do better. Again, again, again. And Spirit says, throughout all of that, I never forgot your potential. I never lost sight of your value. Your worth did not diminish. I waited. I waited for you. I'm going to wait for you. I forgive you. Forgive yourself. Move back into your heart space. Allow it to flow. You are meant to experience and be experienced the stinky and the fragrant aspects of yourself. I don't know which one of the zodiac signs it was. I feel like it might've been Virgo, but it was like one of the zodiac signs was really having a hard time. It was literally all of us because the messages that I was pulling were literally for all of us. But it was, they were having a really hard time 
embracing this the sides of themselves that they're like I don't even want to look at what I've done I don't want to look at who I am here that's the skeleton in my closet that's the thing that I'm the most not proud of that's the thing that I dropped the ball on that's where I fail that's where I am completely unlovable that's where I'm completely untouchable don't touch that don't look at it don't observe it it's ugly I spend all of my time, my life, running from this thing. I spend all of my time in my life hiding this so that no one else can see it because I am ashamed of myself. I'm ashamed of who I am. And I do everything in my power to push it away. And spirit says, bring it to me. That's the same thing that it is that I wanted to see. That's the same thing that it is that I wanted to work on. That's the same thing that needed to be nourished. That's the same thing that needed to be fixed by me. I forgive you. Forgive yourself. I was going to fix it. I just needed you to bring it to me. I needed you to observe it. And when you couldn't do that if you didn't see. It's in this moment right now, every single one of us, where we are called to come to our heart space and really heave a big sigh of relief and hold on to that breath and release it and say, I, I surrender this to you. I'm going to give this over to the divine. I'm going to give this over to my partner. I'm going to give this to myself. I'm going to stop hiding this. I'm going to stop pretending like that stink doesn't exist. I'm going to speak life into that same area that I'm the most ashamed of, that I feel is broken, that is unfixable, or that is unworthy of being loved. I'm going to speak life over that. Moving forward, you will find and you will experience that when you embrace that side of yourself and you give yourself forgiveness and compassion and you relax, like even now I feel my spirit is being like, push back. Let your shoulders drop. Let your heart drop. Let your belly drop. Let your feet hang. Let your hands be open. Let palms up. My hand, my whole arms are shaking right now, but that's just how it is when I'm channeling. Um, but when you allow yourself to just be and receive, you don't need apologies from anyone. Because you've already forgiven them because you know that they're not perfect. And you didn't you wouldn't expect them to be, and you wouldn't expect yourself to be. When you allow yourself to hang, when you allow yourself to be open and vulnerable, and to move from this space that spirit just spoke over you, you will see that you wouldn't expect yourself to be perfect, to have done anything differently, even if you knew better. It was, it's already forgiven. It's already like, that was a part of the vision. That was a part of the prophecy. That was a part of the process. And we are going to move from a space moving forward that is, I don't, when I say loud, I'm going to use the word loud. But it's not that it's loud. It's just authentic. It speaks from a really clear space of this is who I am. And a quiet voice saying less says more and when it when it comes from the heart this will bleed into and by bleed i mean pour into but i say bleed because it's life force energy that life force energy pours into and fills into your purpose how you give love, how you receive love, your relationships, intimate relationships. There's so many of you guys that want so much more for yourself in your love life, for your children, for your home environment. There's so many of you guys that want so much more when it comes to your work, your service to others. You've been almost ashamed of sharing your gifts. You've almost been afraid of being needed. You've almost been ashamed and afraid of, am I good enough? Does my voice matter? 
am I really going to be of service? Do people really need me? Yes, we do. We've been waiting for you. And when it seems loud, when I said the word loud, it's because you're going to be speaking up. It seems loud. It's not loud. It's just you putting yourself out there in a more vulnerable and authentic space. And giving spirit the chance to speak through you and express itself through you. Through your gift. There's going to be moments where you feel fear. There's going to be moments where you feel uncomfortable. You feel vulnerable, exposed. There's going to be moments where you may make a mistake. It's okay. That's factored into forgiveness, right? But you still do it. And you moving from your heart space, it impacts all of us in the biggest way. Every single light needs to be shown. Is that the right way? Is that the right word to say it? Every single light needs to be shined. <laughs> the other thing that came through is the space of play. Um, and I want to pull these cards over. This is doing what it is that you love. For me, it's tarot. And astrology um, play is well tarot is my love language but you know even people who don't I've been saying this lately I've been learning this about myself is um tarot is really my love language and not that you know tarot look at this Sun card see what I'm talking about oh and this card also showed up three of Pentacles also showed up star card kept showing up Two of, two of Pentacles kept showing up. The Moon card kept showing up. Nine of Pentacles kept showing up. Queen of Wands kept showing up. Six of Pentacles started showing up a lot. These are all the cards. If you guys don't believe me, look at the readings. King of, King of Pentacles, the Tower card. Ace of Swords. If I, I haven't pulled, put up the video yet, but I'm about to. The Justice card. Okay. All of these cards, this literally just confirms everything for me because all of these cards were showing up again and again, like this cycle, this repeating cycle in all the zodiac signs. I was like, am I shuffling correctly? And I just kept cleansing my deck and deck and doing it all over again, and the, the same cards would show up again and again. There's a space of play that has been coming through. And you guys are probably like, play, Jess. Play is so insignificant. No, play is powerful. It didn't dawn on me until I had experienced a lack of play and pleasure and joy and, and ability to be like not take life so seriously if there's one thing that's my kryptonite I take everything seriously <laughs> like full disclosure totally honest it's also the thing that I'm most insecure about is how intense I am I feel to this day I'm working on learning how to stop apologizing to people for being like, I'm sorry for being so heavy. <laughs> like, I'm sorry for, you were making a joke and I took it seriously, I'm sorry. And my my humor is very sarcastic and very dry, and very cynical. And I'm working on that. That's one of my greatest insecurities. That's full disclosure moment right now. Um, but it's, it's because, you know, I've been through a lot, but um, that's just how I'm wired. But, um, it's play. It's that life is meant to be lived. Life is meant to come from a space of love. And life is meant to be joyful. Life is meant to be abundant. Every mouth should be fed. Every person should be loved. But when we hold on to those things and we lock them up, that's when people suffer. And that's what it is that I'm seeing is that right now we're in this space where it, it stems from play because you start to see and relate to people through their play when they're just being silly goosey loosey you know what I mean just being wonky and crooked and just moving through life imperfect beings stumbling over things tripping and falling rolling down the hill and you see that it's relatable if there's one thing that all humans can relate to I believe and it's becoming very clear to me that it's love and play Children who don't speak the same language can sit in a, in a doctor's office waiting to see the doctor and connect with each other through play. They don't need it. Trans, play transcends language barriers. 
it transcends suffering, pain through play. Sometimes pain can be so much that it makes it difficult for you to play, but that's when you're it's, that's when it seems impossible. But play shows a light at the end of the tunnel. And spirit is saying to every single one of us to get back into that space. That is the revolution right now. As heavy as things are right now, as crazy as it seems, I have this such a strong sense and faith that if we move from a space of love, and the more that we're moving in from a space of love, and it happens from something as simple and almost seemingly insignificant as my YouTube channel and five people watching this video or 30,000 people watching this video or 16,000 or 1,000 people. That's 1,000 people that heard this message and were like, I get it. I receive that. I'm going to do this. That's 1,000 people that I impacted just by me sharing my message, by doing what it is that I love, by doing what it is that I'm called to do, by making myself vulnerable and putting myself out there. Imagine if you did that and you shared your own message. If it's easier for you to share the video, then by all means, share this video. You guys know it's never my intention to come on here and be Miss Popular, Miss Popularity, Miss Top 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 Trending, or Miss Miss Tarot 2000, <laughs> 2002, <laughs> or 2020. <laughs> what year are we in? I don't know. It's, that's never been my goal. I, I, I actually set intention to protect my, my YouTube channel. But let me show you what it is I'm seeing here. The root of this, my loves, is the Tower card. This is an unes unescapable, unavoidable disruption that needed to happen. This is the truth. The interesting thing about this is what we've been holding on to. This is like, hmm, I'm going to hoard this reality. I'm going to hoard this security. I'm going to hoard this structure, this business, this lifestyle. All these things are mine, 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 mine. And the truth is, is that what impacts one impacts the other. And that you really, like, when I look at this yellow bird, it's the yellow bird of, like, happiness, joy, and pleasure. Creativity, singing, music, harmony, prayer, faith. When you guys allow yourself to go into a space of play, your worries and your stress will start to melt away because your body, your spirit, sends a signal that says, this could all be crazy right now, but I'm able to play. I'm able to, and with play, you will get creative sparks. You will create, get new ideas. You will be nourished. You will find the will to enjoy life again. Not just live your life, but enjoy life and be excited for the next day to come. Play is so important. Do not think that play is insignificant. Do not think that romance is empty or depleted from your life or dry it out, bring it back in. Your past experiences, especially with the moon card here, there's so much right now that is the unknown. It would make you, if you sat in this moment right now and you try to figure it out, you would drive yourself crazy. You would go insane. <laughs> you would plummet into the depths of depression. You would see that life here on earth is hell. But you, spirit doesn't want you to, to operate from that perspective. Spirit says to have faith over fear. Spirit says to trust me, to have fun, to enjoy this as much as you can. Spirit says that when you move from your heart, you're going to be more vulnerable, but it's going to be so worth it. You've been doing a lot of things on your own, probably because you felt like you had to, probably because you felt obligated. Spirit says, come back to the heart source, life vitality, life energy, love, play, joy, especially with the sun card here, and manifest and co-create from that. We have three of pentacles. Three of pentacles, I always thought of it as a tangible thing. Now I'm seeing this in the last two and a half years. I see three of pentacles as holy trinity. Different energy. All of these energies coming together in order to collaborate, in order to connect, in order to manifest miracle, especially with the magician card here. Manifestation, setting intention, connecting with the divine, reconnecting with the divine in order to manifest the impossible. It always seems impossible until it's done. It only seems impossible because of the circumstances before it.
But if you look at that, there are miracles that happen a lot to every single person. And it wouldn't be a miracle if it happened every day. So I just feel as though we're entering into a space of healing right now. Every single one of our lives, healing. It's not about external accomplishment and external recognition because all of that has been a facade. It's been fake. It's like counting your numbers or your likes on numbers of followers on your Instagram and your likes on your Instagram. Are you making an impact? Are you making a positive influence on people? Or is it just numbers and people who are like, I want what you have and what you have is only a fallacy. That's not how I live my life. When I see Six of Wands and Seven of Pentacles reversed and Star card reverse at the top, this is Spirit saying every single one of us is moving from a space of total vulnerability, of total transparency. And it comes from what it is that you see. It comes from your communities. It comes from what it is that you're putting out there. And being open about it. Setting intention for it from your heart space. Moving forward, it is the end of the cycle. Good. Because this is going to be a new cycle, new life new creativity, new abundance, new love, people being like, I can see how we could lose it all and I can see what is most most valuable and important to me and I refuse to lose the most valuable things to me. What is the diamond in your life? What is your vision? What is it that your heart truly desires? Take some time to focus on that during this time, to journal, to process it, to ask yourself some really hard-hitting questions. Stop hiding from the difficulty. Stop hiding from the, the things that you're embarrassed about, that you're ashamed about, that you feel is unlovable or impossible or unsurmountable. Those are the same areas that need to be addressed and nourished and taken care of now. And this is going to open the door for you to receive more, do better, be better, all of us moving from a heart space. That's the intention that I'm setting for every single one of us. So that's what it is I'm seeing, my loves. I hope that this message made sense. I hope that this message resonated. I hope that you're able to receive it. I hope that you receive it with clarity. I hope that it speaks to your heart. I speak that it speaks into your heart. I want to see every single one of us thriving, but thriving in a space of love, abundance, patience, faith, conviction, grace, mercy, and ultimately forgiveness. Forgiveness of the things that have happened to us, forgiveness for ourselves, forgiveness for not being perfect, forgiveness for not getting it right a second, third, tenth, fourteenth time, thirty-tooth time. <laughs> yeah, I said thirty-tooth. Okay? So all of that is yours. Um, please, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. I go live every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where we talk about astrological transits um, every week for the most part. And until then, I'll see you in my next video. Blessings. Bye.